Welcome to Landria Uncon YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. I'm going to supply the tools for you to manifest anything. Wow, okay, we know about quantum physics now, we know about all of the stuff going on out there. Why aren't we using it? So I want to talk about being broke and spirituality. Do they go together? And if so, why? Why are so many spiritual people broke? Are they? I don't know. Yeah, actually I do. I have, of course, had my channel for probably about five years, uh, going on five years, and I can tell you right now that a great deal of spiritual people are broke and struggling. But here's great news. We have people like Neil Donald Walsh, who was homeless. We have Eckhart Tolle, who was homeless, same thing, struggling and many, many other spiritual teachers out there who were in very difficult situations, and just regular people out there who are struggling. Why is it that spiritual people seem to be in those situations? Here's good news. Spirituality is not connected to being broke. Being broke is connected to being spiritual. In other words, many of our species will not seek the inner self until they get to a place where they've lost absolutely everything in the material world. All right? Now, what happens is there's a total release, a total release of the ego and trying to control things or seeking outside itself to try and be happy. So when all of that gets released, these people will often go into that place where spirituality kicks in because there's nothing else, right? So when you're broke on the street, what else do you have to do but say, this isn't working? And so thus, you have the opportunity to go into that spiritual place. I want you to know that when you go into a spiritual place, and if you're flourishing, it doesn't mean you're going to be broke, all right? In fact, it's the opposite. In fact, well... I would probably guess to say that Eckhart's a multimillionaire and Neil Donald Walsh, I'm sure, is uh, a millionaire at this point and many of the other spiritual teachers, not because they're choosing that, not because they were going after the money, because they let go of that and then, of course, flourished because of it. Then all of a sudden the gateways to abundance open and, of course, when they're at that point when if you're truly awaken, it doesn't matter to you anymore. It's not what you seek. It doesn't make you happy because you know, because you've been in that place where you had nothing and could find that peace when they went into that spiritual place, that peace showed up when there was nothing out here and then they got it. So the good news is that when you do go to that dark night of the soul or you lose everything or you're broke and you're finally saying, oh my gosh, I can't take this anymore. What am I doing wrong? So many of you said to me in your comments, what am I doing wrong? And I said, you know, first of all, you're overthinking everything and they think that there's something you're doing wrong. You're not doing anything wrong other than trying to fix whatever's going on in here through the material world. Somebody uh, in Canada was saying, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, do all the right things for the, the world and as far as pollution, all this stuff. And they're doing this and they're doing and this. Of course, we're always looking outside of what they're doing. It has to start in here. So if you're not in a place of struggle yet, then you do not have to go to that dark place to release everything. Now, it's it's difficult sometimes because when things are great and you got the car and the house and you can go shop and do whatever you want, ah, spirituality's in the back burner. I'll, I'll take a vacation and go manifest something or, or meditate for a week and then I'll go into my spiritual self and it becomes almost like a, a hobby. It's this fun thing that you do on the side. And this is why there are great benefits to the struggle of really going to that dark place. And I think, I, I don't know, I think probably everybody, I haven't met anybody who hasn't gone to that place on some level where they just, whether they have money or not, have said, you know, this isn't working anymore. And that's a beautiful place to go, but it's painful and nobody wants to go there, right? So don't go there. If you really, truly, and I, but if you do, if you need to, great. That, but if you truly want to 
find that spiritual place. Practice every day is required or you will be pulled away by the seemingly material world, which is not at all. There is nothing that is real that we're seeing. It's all a manifestation and you can change it at any point. Now, if you're on a higher frequency, guess what? You're going to change it for the positive. You will make a difference on this planet. You will start to clean up the pollution. We can actually do that. As a unified body of one, of which we are, when we focus on that and then we take, make our own personal choices, everybody changes. So you, you affect the other people by making your own higher choices and not blaming them anymore, but sending that that uh, light and love out there. That this does work. This does work. We, you, we can create rain. We can do anything we desire, especially as a unified field. So what do we need to do then in order to create this amazing, this world that, that's possible? It starts here. So you must go to that higher frequency, that higher place of peace, not looking to the outside world, putting self-service in the back burner and service to others first, and then all the abundance will flow to you, but you can't do that hoping to get things. Then your intentions are being put out to the universe that that's self-service. So I'm gonna serve others to get things for myself. You cannot hide anything from the universe because you are it. You're looking at yourself. All right, broke people can go to the most amazing, awesome place because there's no place else to go. Everything's been yanked and guess what? You only got you and you gotta say, why am I here? Why did I go to this dark place? It was a freaking gift that you will absolutely look back and say, if I had not lost all of, all of everything, you know, my, you know, who, whatever it is, if it's material, usually material world, uh, many times it's the loss of a loved one. If you haven't lost all these things, then you can't look at it and realize you've lost absolutely nothing. Because what you are right now isn't all these things. It's the story in our head that tells us that those things are our happiness. And when we separate that, when we get to look at that and realize, okay, I'm super unhappy, you know, and I don't have anything, so of course it re relies on the outside world. No, when you release it, then you will be, you can go into a blissful place without the things and then you get it and you go bing. Now don't forget, I have a monthly webinar. You can go on LandryAgate.com or down here and see what I'm teaching each month. And you can join me for three hours live. And we actually, in the live class, do things. We manifest. We hit all the things that are, are negative points for us. And then we go into switching over. And by the time I get done with you, we actually check that again. And pretty much everybody on the call has told me they've had some transformation. And then you have to keep that practice up. And this is how you stay out of the poverty and stay out of the suffering. And then when you get into that state of awakening, you're no longer focused on the worry and I don't have it. And so that, that's released. So what happens? You feel abundant and happy, so abundance and happiness flows to you. Instead of going, I don't have this and I'm unhappy, that's the message you're giving to the quantum field and it's like, how do I get out of this, right? You go into an awakened state. Meditate, 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 meditate. Why? It shuts down the thinking, it trains you, it may be tough for you, but I have meditations, uh, guided ones, my favorite, is the last one I did, which is um, connect to the quantum field. Remember, all this stuff, it's all good. It's all good. It's taking you to a higher place. You're whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Join me in one of my e-courses. Go check it out. Use my tools. I have a lot of free stuff. Manifest uh, in five steps is down here. You can sign up. That's free. You get codes for discounts on all of my stuff. I want you to just Practice, practice, go, use what you need. I'm here for you. I love you. Namaste.